One of the reasons why games like Axie Infinity appear to generate so much buzz is that they provide as a simple on-ramp to Web3 principles. To put it another way, the finest crypto games simplify tough crypto ideas using a familiar interface to provide people a better understanding of what the technology is capable of. The concept of a utility-based NFT as an in-game object that can be owned, exchanged, or sold appeals to me. With the foregoing in mind, I believe it is always worthwhile to investigate new games that take this simplification notion a step further and utilize gamification to transform core crypto principles into enjoyable user experiences. Yeah, I am talking about DeFi kingdoms. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. The video is for informational and educational purposes only. Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Trends. In today's video, we'll talk about DeFi Kingdoms and how you can make passive income with DeFi Kingdoms. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos. So without further ado, Let's get into it. What is DeFi Kingdoms? DeFi Kingdoms is a game based on the Harmony blockchain that has recently gained a lot of attention. In a nutshell, it's a crypto gaming initiative that turns the notion of a decentralized exchange, or DEX, into a game. Its native currency, Jewel, has a market cap of more than $406 million. The current incarnation of DeFi Kingdom is, at its heart, a gaming skin for decentralized finance. While other video games focus on purchasing and selling NFTs, DeFi Kingdom is beginning by leveraging games to make investing in crypto through the game's expanding economy entertaining. Consider it a cross between Robin Hood and Final Fantasy. What I like about DeFi Kingdoms is how it transforms difficult-to-learn principles, DeFi, one of the primary criticisms of new crypto users, into a UI that is familiar and easy to use. This is the strength of DeFi Kingdoms and GameFi in general. To add a new component, financialization, to something that appears to be simpler, sociable, and entertaining. The game's popularity has skyrocketed due to its simplicity and the opportunity for profit. So, what sets DeFi Kingdom apart? DeFi Kingdoms is it described as a game, a decentralized exchange, a liquidity pool opportunity, and a market of rare utility-driven NFTs, all playing out smoothly in the immensely nostalgic style of fantasy pixel graphics. It's a bold assertion, but a deeper look offers a framework through which we can comprehend DeFi Kingdom as it currently exists and may exist in the future. The game specifically includes a token-powered ecosystem and decentralized exchange a pool of liquidity providers comprised of in-game banks and gardens, an NFT asset platform that has been reimagined as a high fantasy adventure game, Jewel and the decentralized exchange. The Jewel token is at the heart of DeFi Kingdom. Consider Jewel to be a hybrid of a standard crypto token and an in-game money similar to that seen in games like World of Warcraft. Jewel powers everything in the game. Token holders are in charge of the community's roadmap. The token's transaction proceeds go to developers, player prizes, and community money. Purchasing NFTs and gaining cash incentives requires gamers to have Jewel. It's the lifeblood that keeps the game's ecology running. Players may get Jewel by either purchasing it from the game's decentralized market, which is supposed to resemble an actual market, or earning it through other ways, which we will discuss later in this video. The token may even be staked in-game to gain liquidity provider benefits, such as greater yield Jewel returns 
that can be spent on extra game features. None of these components are new core DeFi inventions, but the way DeFi Kingdoms presents them to the user as a game is unique. The Liquidity Provider Pool As I said before, staking Jewel in favor of the DeFi Kingdom's financial sector has also been gamified. To obtain a range of incentives, players can stake their tokens in one of two methods in-game. The Bank The Games Bank is a single staking pool system that allows players to swap Jewel for XJewel a governance token that symbolizes the bank's ownership share. As transactions occur across the DeFi Kingdom ecosystem, the bank will collect fees, which it will then utilize to purchase more Jewel, boosting the value of an investor's X Jewel. The fee-sharing structure of the bank is similar to buying shares in the Games Bank and collecting dividends over time. The Garden Alternatively, as players stake their jewel, they can invest their new liquidity in the garden of the game. In the gardens, participants acquire plots of land equal to their overall contribution to the game's liquidity. An NPC farmer will gather plants for providers and store them for players to claim over time. Because of the garden's enormous yield, Prizes for players are locked behind time gates to guarantee the game's tokenomics stay balanced and fair. As time passes and DeFi Kingdom matures, players can receive a bigger share of their staking rewards as soon as they become available, or acquire NFTs or other buffs to speed up the game's yield production and locking mechanism. To avoid the usual pump and dump tactics, the game has also included withdrawal fees. NFT Platform and Game Having said that, the actual game is still in its early stages. With the promise of a slew of typical play-to-earn mechanisms on the horizon, there's not much to delve into here for the time being. Among the most notable roadmap elements are Heroes, which are interactive NFTs that can be purchased sold, or lent out for Jewel Token. Each character comes with a slew of standard high-fantasy RPG characteristics, such as stats, levels, and pets. Kingdoms Plots of land in-game that players can possess to improve their staking rewards, grant character benefits, or produce money incentives. Player vs. Player Tournaments Once the game's environment has been completely developed, the creators want to release a fight system complete with betting, levels, and more typical RPG-like aspects. Ways to make income in DeFi Kingdom So, to put it simply, there are three common ways to make income in DeFi Kingdom. Staking Jewel Token I have mentioned it before as well, but it really is one of the best and foremost ways to make passive income in DeFi Kingdom. To do so, you must purchase Jewel or have enough Jewel to stake. Because quests provide Jewel tokens, you gain them as you play the game. However, certain tasks do not award as much Jewel. In such situation, it could be worthwhile to think about investing in Jewel tokens to stake. And, to be honest, staking payouts can reach up to 50%. Providing liquidity Any decentralized exchange needs liquidity in order to function. Fortunately, the developers permit you to participate in liquidity pools and operate as liquidity providers. Some LP pairs provide an APY of up to 400%. This is one of the most effective methods for obtaining Jewel. It should be noted that you do not need to play the game in order to bet or give liquidity. This is why DeFi Kingdoms is both a decentralized exchange and an NFT game. Sell NFTs Despite the fact that being a game is a secondary role for DeFi Kingdoms, selling NFTs or heroes is one of the best methods to generate money. 
the creators also intend to include PvP adventures in which you will battle other heroes for prizes. The better the heroes you summon, the more money you'll make when you sell them on the NFT marketplace. Latest News DeFi Kingdoms Surpassed Axie Infinity in Transactions in January DeFi Kingdoms is the ultimate example of GameFi, the gamification of decentralized finance, or DeFi, in which games organically incorporate DeFi elements into their playing mechanisms, according to DAP Radar. It is also stated that DeFi Kingdoms goes above and beyond GameFi by offering an actual gaming experience within its pixelated virtual environment, which accepts transactions in Jewel, the game's utility and governance token. According to the report, DeFi Kingdoms has established itself as the essential DAP for the growing Harmony ecosystem, with a TVL of approximately $1.2 billion, attracting more than 22,000 daily unique active wallets, or UAWs, in January, and retaining its player base at the level from December 2021. At the same time, DeFi Kingdoms produced over $1.6 billion in transactions last month, 243% more than Axie Infinity, which was placed second with a $775 million investment. Where does DeFi Kingdom fit into the big picture? DeFi Kingdom is using the crypto gaming playbook by selling a percentage of its token supply rather than seeking money from venture capitalists. While this method surely assists the team in raising the capital required to help develop the product into a full-time venture, it may be a double-edged sword. The crypto industry is teeming with investors looking for a quick profit, and the firm may be forming a community based on financial incentives rather than a genuine love of the game itself. As previously stated, DeFi Kingdoms is a financial system reskinned to feel like a game, but isn't EVE Online? In the medium to long term, this may increase the possibility of big market sell-offs in which early profits-focused investors opt to liquidate their position in the firm after feeling like they've maximized their gains, leaving a smaller handful of devoted followers carrying the bag. I'm interested to see how players respond and if the game's financialization will result in any form of longevity. To that purpose, the team is hedging some long-term bets in gameplay, but it's an intriguing and innovative UA approach to grab consumers in from the start with play to earn. The game's gameplay details are unsurprisingly rare. DeFi Kingdom ensured that the financial product would need to debut before the game to fund the remainder of the project by leveraging DeFi mechanisms to fund the project. However, early indications are encouraging. A $400 million market cap and a solid tokenomic system point to long-term success. Jewel Token Current Price the Jewel token is currently trading at $5.64, up by 9.5% in the last 24 hours. Because it is currently down from its all-time high of $22.52, owing to a recent bear run, now is an excellent moment to get Jewel tokens. Even when the market is down, it has a market capitalization of more than $353 million. Price Prediction for Jewel Token I believe the Jewel Token has the potential to trade in the $25 to $50 region since it combines the principles of play to earn, DeFi, and decentralized exchange into a fun and engaging game that consumers will want to play. And, given that the sale of DeFi Kingdoms in January 2022 was more than double that of Axie Infinity, the Jewel token has a lot of potential. Final thought. DeFi Kingdom is a promising game at its heart. The concept of using gaming to simplify the UI and UX of DeFi is innovative. However, 
with the long-term viability of financially-oriented games still in doubt, as well as the lack of gameplay to yet, I'm curious whether DeFi Kingdoms can continue to garner mindshare. What do you think about DeFi Kingdom? How big can it get? Also, if you've played it before, how was your experience? Please let us know in the comment section below. Your experience will assist others in deciding whether or not to invest in the Jewel token.